Frugal Sim videos are powered by Jetline Systems. Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and this is a much delayed Frugal Sim news for today, Monday, October the 8th. First up, DCS news and the announcement that Heat Blur Simulations F14 is now available for pre-purchase. Heat Blur Simulations F14 of course models the F14 Tomcat, made famous the world over with aircraft techno weenies by that travesty of an aerial combat movie, Top Gun. It features a flight model verified by actual Tomcat pilots. It simulates both the A and B models of the Tomcat, although the B model will come later after early access, and accurate simulations of the systems, including the AFCS, variable wing geometry, and the dynamic electrical system. Now the Tomcat is also a dual seat aircraft and that dual seat functionality is supported in the Heat Blur F14 allowing another player to act as your Rio. Complete simulations are included as well of all the weapon systems sensors although systems such as the Tarps pod will follow after early access. Early access is slated to begin later this year but you can pre-purchase the Heat Blur DCS F14 right now for $69.99 discounted from its regular price of $79 and 99 cents and sticking with dcs we also have news of the dcs fw or fog wolf 190a-8 eagle dynamics have posted an update on their forums that they are working on an fw 190a-8 the a8 was developed in the 1930s as a single seat fighter powered by a bmw engine a little bit of trivia for you that bmw logo you see today is actually a white propeller spinning on a blue sky moving on now the aircraft was actually superior to the Spitfire Mark V when it was first deployed and as a result led to the development of the Spitfire Mark IX. The A8 model entered service in 1944 when it served as a dual purpose ground attack and fighter aircraft with beefed up armour. No idea of a release date or a price just yet but Matt Wagner is confident that this will be the most accurate 190 ever produced in a flight simulator. Over now to the world of FSX and prepared and the news of Orbex Echo Sierra November Quebec. Orbex ESNA Kiruna Airport is actually a Swedish triple back featuring ESNQ, ESSV Visby and ESSD Dala Airport. The pack was developed by Marcus Nyberg who actually also developed Dala as a freeware FS9 airport many many years ago. The scenery of course includes all three airports in exacting detail with scenery coverage at resolutions of both 30cm and 50cm per pixel. The sceneries also include a brand new 3D snow effect in ESSD and ESSNQ for prepared version 4 only. Finally, the pack also includes accurate renditions of the towns of both Visby and Karuna. Orbex ESNQ is available for all versions of FSX and all versions of Prepared, although the new snow effect only works in Prepared version 4 and it will cost you $39.95 Australian. You will also require FTS Global as well. More information at the orbexdirect.com link in the show notes below. Next up, Real World Sceneries K-Day. Real World Scenery's latest release for prepared version 4 is KDAY, or James N. Cox Dayton International. It's apparently the culmination of four years of work and has been built from photographs taken by the developers on numerous trips to the actual airport. Kilo Delta Alpha Yankee is actually located 10 miles north of Dayton, Ohio and handled 2.6 million passengers in 2012. The real world scenery version is compatible and designed to blend well with FTS Global and Open Land Class North America. It features dynamic lighting throughout the airport, hand placed custom autogen, seasonal textures and of course as I said earlier was modeled from real world photos. It is available now for prepared version 4 only for $24 from the realworldscenery.com link in the show notes below. Next up, 747 Immersion. The video you're watching is the official trailer produced by Jerome Dorman and is linked in the show notes below, well worth checking out. The latest Immersion pack from FSFX packages is the long-awaited 747 Immersion for the PMDG 747. It adds effects including cloud illumination, complex wing condensation effects accurately reproduced to fit the 747 wing shape, jet wash and vortexes on takeoff, accurate and realistic contrails, proper engine condensation and brake dust on gear retraction, volumetric lighting on runway turnoff lights, lift vane vortices and much much more. Now it also works with FSFX Packages Immersion Manager to let you turn on and off as well as preview individual effects. 
Most of the effects are best viewed from an exterior camera, but do bear in mind that the instant replay system in Prepared is very limited, and as a result, you'll need to be watching live to experience the full suite of effects and not trying to view them all in replay. FSFX Packages 747 Immersion is available right now for $29. More information at the oldprop.com link in the show notes below. Over now to explain the news of Orbex True Earth South GB for X Plane 11. Video you're watching is from my good friend Thomas Rasmussen. It is also linked in the show notes below and is well worth checking out in full. Orbex have announced that they are nearing the release of True Earth Great Britain South for X Plane 11. Great product name, but I think Southern England and Wales might have been a little bit more explanatory. It is the first of a series of three scenery packages offering a meticulous recreation of Great Britain due to all release in the coming months. South covers 42,000 square miles and includes new autogen technology enabling Orbex to autogen region-specific houses. It includes hundreds of key points of interest accurately, ranging, of course, from things like Cardiff City Stadium to Brighton Pier, Buckingham Palace, and even Tintagel Castle. Apparently, mythology would have it the home of King Arthur, all built from 2018 data. Other key features include 130 million trees at the right height and location, which is pretty cool, 13.2 million buildings, key VFR landmarks such as churches, power lines, a 10-meter mesh, accurate road and rail network, and much much more seriously much more unfortunately it does only include summer textures but that's more of a limitation of x-plane than anything else it will be available later this month at the price of 54 dollars sorry i see 24 54 dollars and 95 australian it is likely to be a 35 gigabyte download as well next up quatum river Prop Strike Studios Quatum River Scenery is now available for X-Plane 11 and it looks phenomenal. It's a small airport in the British Columbia Mountains in Canada. And the airport is actually a hub for forest workers clearing out the forest and has been operating as a GA airfield now for about 35 years. Now the scenery actually includes two airports, 10 helipads and more than 10 bush plane landing spots. Ground textures were hand painted at an incredible resolution, I think this might be a misspelling, but this is what they said, of two centimeters per pixel near the airports. It also features a dynamic runway obstruction plugin, which means from time to time you might get an unexpected surprise across the runway. It also features runway puddle effects, 3D vegetation, and a custom mesh based on HD mesh version 4 by AL Pilot X. Quatum River will cost you $21.63. It is available right now for X Plane 11. More information at the propstrikestudio.com link in the show notes below. Sticking with X Plane, we also have news of Dubai for X Plane. Aviotech Simulation's latest scenery is the iconic OMDB or Dubai Airport for X Plane 11 and is published by X Aviation. It features a highly detailed rendition of the airport itself, including photo reel scenery of the surrounding area. It also features HDR lights, animated ground traffic, and of course, a custom scenery mesh. X Aviation also claimed the scenery is optimized for performance. Aviotech Simulations Dubai for X Plane 11 is available right now for $24.95. More information at the xaviation.com link in the show notes below. Now, our final story this week is actually a bit of a doozy. Virtual Fly have updated and released the TQ6 Plus. Now, I reviewed the TQ6 a while back, and I called it the best TQ6 throttle quadrant available for simmers today. Over time, though, as always with these things, it started to develop a bit of spiking in the movement as dust has settled into the device. Not ideal. The TQ6 Plus addresses that by building in magnetic hall effect sensors, massively increasing the accuracy of all six levers, as well as increasing the lifespan of the device as a whole. Anyone that has used a Thrustmaster Warthog can attest to the accuracy and general awesomeness of Hall Effect sensors. I suspect that Virtual Fly may also be updating the rest of their range to use Hall Effect sensors as well soon enough. That's my theory. They haven't said that. Anyway, the TQ6 Plus is available right now for 600 euros. It's not cheap. If you can afford it though, yes, it is extremely well worth it. More information at the virtualfly.com link in the show notes below. That's it for this week's delayed, I'm sorry, we were adopting a Husky new show. As always, if I did miss something, do leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'll take a look to see whether I should include it in next week's show. Until then, though, my name is Frugal. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon.